Hey guys! So I'm so sorry that I did not post a video on Monday. Um, however, well, okay, I did make a video on Monday, and I actually made a video as well yesterday explaining why I didn't make a video on Monday, but I decided not to post either of those videos because um, the first day on Monday when I made the video, I had kind of had a little drama falling out thing with a friend and I was really really upset about it and so when I made the video um you know I was just very in the moment and upset and um I don't know I just didn't like how that video came out short version without divulging too much is that um I had a friend that well she used to be a friend um however her personality has changed a lot in the last couple of years and she often posts things on Facebook that I find inappropriate um, and uh, I know that people have the right to post whatever they want on their own Facebooks but uh, I have the right not to read it or not to see it and um, so anyways she had posted something on Monday that I found very inappropriate and hurtful not to me but to maybe other groups of people um, and normally I wouldn't have commented on this particular thing except that not only did she post it but then underneath she asked why would anybody find this offensive so on a normal basis if she had just posted I would have just tried to ignore it but since she asked why somebody might find that offensive I decided to go ahead and answer it and I didn't say anything um, you know like I didn't say you're a bad person for posting this or you're this or you're that I didn't say that I just answered the question as I kind of said somebody might be offended by what you post or by this post because they might feel this way a b and c well maybe i don't know and maybe she you know knew that it wasn't a very nice thing to post because she got extremely defensive about it and um she said some things to me that weren't very nice and um because i go out of my way to never ever hurt anyone's feelings um, the fact that, you know, she spoke to me the way that she did, I decided that obviously, you know, either she didn't consider me a friend if she could talk to me that way, or even if she did, she's not a friend that I would want to keep around. So, um, so yeah, that was kind of, you know, a friendship that needed to be ended. Um, we don't really ever even talk, and the only things I see that she posts are extremely offensive. So, yeah, so I was pretty upset about that. Um, but anyways, that's why I didn't post a video on Tuesday, is just because it was a very heated uh, discussion of exactly what she did and what she posted. And when I was explaining it, I kind of thought that maybe even discussing it might make somebody else feel bad, so I decided not to post. On another completely unrelated note, um... Neil surprised me, he came home with mochi. I don't know if you guys know what mochi is. I don't even know fully how to explain what it is, but um, it's a, okay, I don't even know if they have, they might have this in other Asian cultures, but I know, at least for me, that it is a Japanese, like, treat, or at least my grandma used to get them for me, and we used to go to Japanese shops, but I think they might, you know, have this in, like, other Asian, um, cultures and stuff but it's like uh, I think it's made with rice powder and I don't know how else they make it but it's like a it's like a squishy I had one to show you but I ate it while I was like trying to get this video uploaded but here's one he brought me three packages I already ate the strawberry one and then he brought me melon and then the other one I showed you was orange but like yeah it's very very soft um I would say it's I guess it's closest to maybe a marshmallow, but not exactly. It's more like, like, I don't know how to do that. Like it's clear, and it's like, I don't know. It's just soft and squishy. It kind of feels like lips almost, and um, it's very lightly sweet on the outside, and then on the inside, I don't know what this white stuff is, but it's like a sweet cream, and then inside of there so we can open this some more so you can see there we go inside of the white stuff 
is this green, um, I think it's a bean paste, but it's very, very sweet. So like the outside would be a very light sweet melon flavor or whatever flavor you have, and then the inside is a very concentrated like boom of <laughs> flavor, but it's delicious. I don't know if I would call it a candy, but I can't think of any other category to place it in, so I would say it's like a variation of an Asian candy, but it's delicious and I love it. And um, he surprised me with some the other day, or the day before yesterday, so yeah. Awesome! Um, I got a new phone. Um, before I had the iPhone 3 or 3G, I don't know which one it was. And now I have this one, which is the 4 or the 4S. Again, don't know which one it is. But I'm um, super excited. That's Ian when he was a itty bitty. But uh, yeah, the pictures and video are so much clearer on this, so I'm super excited about that. Um, on another note, uh, so I went to the Great Cloth Diaper Change, and they gave... I, I showed you guys that they gave me like a bag full of like coupons and things. Well, in the bag was this and it's for this like company called Green Line Diapers and I don't know really anything about them but it just intrigued me because they kind of looked like flat I don't know if you can see that but they look flat like there's no elastic in the leg and it says there's no PLU but they're waterproof so I was completely confused by them I, I don't quite understand how that's possible. So if any of you use green line diapers, can you let me know about them? Because I'm I'm intrigued, I'm interested, but I'm confused, and I don't know quite how that system works. Um, speaking of cloth diapers, um, for Christmas, I got my sister-in-law and brother-in-law a cloth diaper because um, they are going to be adopting, and so I got them a cloth diaper as like a this is for your soon-to-be baby. And uh, anyways, the company that I bought the diaper from, um, today I posted a picture on their Facebook page of my brother and sister-in-law, like, opening up their uh, present. I'll insert a picture so you can see. But yeah, so I posted that on this company's Facebook page and was like, I just thought I would share, you know, and I kind of gave them a little like, yeah, you know, they've been trying for so many years and now they're adopting and so your diaper was my gift to them and uh, and they were so excited about it and they're going to be cloth diapering their baby and I just wanted to share the picture with you because I thought you'd like to see it. Well, the owner of that company emailed me and said that, um, she really, really loved seeing the picture, and that it, like made her tear up, and um, that she actually used to work at an adoption agency, so it just really touched home for her, and um, and she said that she wanted to send my sister-in-law some um, some gifts. So that was so so sweet of her, and that was just so exciting. So so exciting for my sister-in-law. So 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 excited for when she gets them and she's gonna be a really awesome surprise for her and their soon-to-be new baby so I'm so excited about that I like texted her and I was like Lee if you're available you have to call me right now <laughs> um but yeah uh let's see what else what else what else Ian um I don't have his bank to show you because he's been holding it but Ian is almost completely weaned of his bink or his pacifier whatever you guys call it um what I've been doing for the past like week is just cutting a little bit of the actual part that goes in his mouth I've just been cutting a little bit a little bit a little bit every day and the first time he put it in his mouth he kind of went like like and he looked at it and he totally gave a WTF look <laughs> it was really funny but after that he still would use it but he just has been seeming less and less like satisfied by it and the past like two or three days he just doesn't seem to want it at all he like has pretty much stopped asking for it and we haven't had any like breakdowns over it you know when he goes to bed if he asks for it I still give it to him but he doesn't really want to like suck on it he just mostly wants to hold it so yeah he's almost completely weaned of his bink uh we've only had one setback and that was yesterday and that was because he found a bink um, that I hadn't collected. I went around the house looking for all the binks 
and then uh, put them away and I've only been giving him the one bink that I've been cutting up but he did find one bink that was like a whole bink and you should have seen it it was so funny he held it up like it was a trophy he like found it he's like mama bink <laughs> I just ran over and I took it away from him and I ran down the hall because I was going to switch it with the one that I've been cutting. And he chased me down the hall crying and I felt so bad. And I gave him the cut up bink and he just lost it because he knew. And uh, yeah. But uh, he got over it really fast. I think he only cried for like, I don't know, he only cried for a few seconds and then he moved on. But uh, that has been our only setback was just when he found the other bink. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's going really, really good. Uh, like I said, he doesn't really use it at all to sleep and he doesn't ask for it when he's awake so I would say definitely by next week we are going to be completely bink free. Anyways I hope you all had a great weekend and a great so far half of this week and um, I will see you all Friday. Yes I will see you all Friday. Bye.